Sonic the Hedgehog was first introduced to the Sega Genesis on June 23, 1991. He was built up to be the Sega mascot character, one to rival Nintendo's very own Super Mario. In order to be suitable for competition, Sonic had to be everything that Mario was not. Where Mario was round and cute, Sonic had to be pointy and edgy. Sonic was made to be cool and to have attitude to oppose Mario's overall friendliness. To top this off, Sonic had to be faster than Mario in order to show off the capability of the Sega Genesis. The result was this. Danita Stokes, president of HAG. It's bad enough that Sega Genesis has the most 16-bit games, but this new Sonic the Hedgehog, oh, he really ducked my doilies. They say he's incredibly fast. Well, what's the hurry, mister? Hmm? And about his attitude. Smarty pants. Why can't it be more like that nice boy Mario? Oh! Sonic the Hedgehog is a franchise that thrives on style. From the music, to the character design, to the way Sonic reacts to the player when he's left standing idle. Where it couldn't keep up with Mario in terms of pure gameplay, it attempted to make up in presentation. I know you expect the next part of this to be all about how Sega's prioritization of a marketing machine over gameplay led to the downfall of the actual games, but that's not actually where I'm going with this. Sonic the Hedgehog's packaging is actually magnificent. The game is not as clever as Mario or as fun or as challenging as Mario, but it's a very good looking, good sounding, and stylish game. I mean, look at this gameplay from 2017's Sonic Mania. Except, this gameplay is not from Sonic Mania. It's from Sonic the Hedgehog 3, which came out in 1994. The game still looks amazing even for being that old. It defies its age because its aim from the beginning was to appeal to the senses. Sonic the Hedgehog portrays itself as a game about being fast, however, it is not about being fast. It's about being stylish. It's about bells and whistles. It's about sensory overload and where this would usually serve as a fault. In this case, it becomes the source of Sonic's charm. The game is less about gameplay and more about flair, yet this focus on style and finesse is every reason why Sonic is likable. This even extends to the gameplay of the games and Sonic's differentiating factor, the movement. Sonic's speed is important to the identity of the character. This guy runs, but I would argue that he doesn't run that fast. I mean, he's fast, don't get me wrong, especially in the much later 3D iterations. But I think what is even more important to the character's actual movement is his momentum. The actual goal of Sonic, like any platforming game, is to reach the end of the level. This is the explicit goal. The goal that is never really stated out loud, yet every player knows, is to never stop running. In Sonic, the less your thumb comes off of the right directional pad, the better. The game is about keeping your forward momentum going, and this very much plays into the style aspect of Sonic. The game creates a space in which the player can define what the stylistically appropriate choice is. Multiple routes through each of the levels means that the game is telling you that this is your playground. All paths lead to the right place and how you get there and how much momentum and style you put into getting there is all on you. Your method of play is completely encouraged. In fact, the places that Sonic doesn't shine are where there are obstacles between you and your goal which poses a specific and probably the biggest problem in the series. In a game that is all about momentum, how is opposition then posed to the player? There are only so many times where a ditch or just a regular enemy in the way can be the gateway between the player and success. There needs to be diversity in what is stopping the player which means there needs to be moments where the player is stopped in their tracks by obstacles. This is Sonic the Hedgehog's biggest plight. The focus of the game, which is momentum and style, then becomes about climbing, trying to find oxygen, being lost, and other situations that do not equate to style. This is Sonic. This guy runs, and to strip him of that is to defeat his purpose. Sonic Mania's release marks an exciting time for me as a fan. It seems to capture the soul of what makes the 2D Sonic games wonderful. It's beautiful, it's stylish, it's musical, and it seems to be as completely over the top as the classics were. As I jump in, I look forward to the return of a more stylish, more momentum-driven Sonic. And whether you're playing the new ones or the old ones, just remember that Sonic the Hedgehog may not be the perfect platforming game, but man, 
that guy runs. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Your feedback is important to us. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment to let us know what you think. You can find similar videos, podcasts, and articles on OKBeast.com. You can also follow us on Twitter at OKBeastNow. For everything games and culture related, make sure to keep it locked right here on OKBeast.